Well, I want to thank the Mars. And Obama, far from uh, sitting back and enjoying his life, is now actively interfering with the new president. It shouldn't come as, as any real surprise, but we're going to take a quick look at his army of followers that he has. Now, these are communists, you have to remember. The Obama tied activist group trained training tens of thousands of agitators to protest President Trump's policy plans to hit Republican lawmakers supporting these policies even harder this week when they return home from congressional recess and hold town meetings and other functions. Organizing for action, the group founded by Obama featured prominently on this new president his new post-presidency website is distributing a training manual to anti-Trump activists and advises them to bully G GOP lawmakers into backing off support for re revealing, repealing Obamacare, covering immigration from high-risk Islamic nations, building a border wall. And here's a video on Obama's... Uh, website that they mentioned. This is up on YouTube. Can't really get the name of it, but he promises to be here opposing common sense legislation for the rest of his days. Here's the actual website. It's BarackObama.com And this dirty rat is sitting there interfering with President Trump. This is why we say uh, there's a shadow government. Is that we have his operatives working to undermine President Trump and stop his agenda. And on that video, he openly admits that he's going to stay involved. See, most of the time, what presidents usually do is, once they are term limited out, uh, they go on, they become private citizens, and they go lead their lives. That's what they're supposed to do. They let a new guy or woman have their way. But this idiot is continuing to attack even though he's no longer president. So anyway, a new Facebook post off a organizing for action, which is actually used to be Obama for America, supposedly calls on activists to mobilize against Republicans from now until February 26th, when representatives are going to be in their home districts. Protesters disrupted town halls earlier this month, including one held in Utah by House Oversight Chairman Jason Chavitz, who was confronted by hundreds of angry demonstrators claiming to be his constituents, which they were not there, Obama, Soros, people is what they are. Even the safest Republican will be deeply alarmed by the signs of organized opposition document states because these actions create an impression that they're not connected to our district and not listening to their consistent constituents. That's uh, part of the intimidation by these scumbags. Unfavorable exchanges caught on video can be devastating for Republican lawmakers, it says, when shared through social media and picked up by local and national media. After protesters gave MSNBC, CNN, and the networks footage of their dust up with Chavitz, for example, outlets ran them continuously, forcing Chavitz to issue statements defending himself. 
and this goes on and on, and because of my voice problems and stuff, I'm going to take you to the, uh, Facebook stuff, and they have a, uh, they are related by way, actually it's all the same people, but. There's a site called Indivisible.com that has a training manual for these Obama Soros protesters. So we'll take you to that too. Now, here's their, uh, there's an organizing for action communist uh, site on Facebook. These are communists. Let's not forget this. And they have all sorts of things harassing Republicans and whatnot. All sorts of instructions to the useless, useful idiots, as they call them. And they are trying to disrupt the what we voted for. Now, here's the indivisible ones I talked about. It's on Facebook. You see the uh, little video here? I haven't played it, but you see that sign, Town Hall Resistance Guide. Why can't they, these people had eight years, why can't they just let our side govern now and leave it be? <laughs> I mean, they're welcome to call the congressman and stuff, but my God, they're interfering with the government, and I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, because these are communists. They hate freedom, they hate representative government. So let's take you, I'm going to put this on hold and go to the Indivisible. Okay, this is IndivisibleGuide.com. Uh, on the right it's, I don't know what that's saying, it's illegible. Well, on the left, read online, download the guide. Download printer friendly version. Download or stream audio book version of the guide. So you act, here's the actual guide that Obama and his partners in crime are using to harass and disrupt uh, President Trump and the Republicans. This is all Saul Alinsky, Alinsky stuff. And here's the actual guide. I brought it up on my computer. And they're talking about fighting the Trump agenda. I don't have time to read all this. My voice is going to go anyway. But you get the point. This is all Saul Linsky communist stuff. Make no mistake about it. And they advise, you know, if you're in... They advise uh, their communist operators if they are in a district where they're Mocks or members of Congress are pretty good, don't take action. So it just harass the Republicans who want to do the right thing, is what it amounts to. Anyway, here you have, you know, the proof. They're organizing a civil war. Uh, I don't know if I dare say this or not, but I'm going to anyway. Obama is like the Jefferson Davis of uh, 
1861. I'm going to say that again. Barack Obama is a lot like the Jefferson Davis of 1861. He's spoiling for fight. And at some point, I expect him to do something. I don't know what. Whether it'll be guns and bullets or something else. These people are unpredictable as far as what they're going to do. But they are predictable in that we know they're going to do something. They are dedicated to evil. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. So, here you go. Here's proof that Obama is interfering. There's no question he's interfering and does have shadow government. And that is just plain wrong. It's that presidents up to now have always just said, okay, I had it, you got it, I ain't going back to the golf course or whatever, but not this guy. We're in a civil war, it just hasn't started with guns and bullets yet. It's pretty much inevitable, I would say. I'm our facts of Mars, my voice is going, thanks for watching. Have a good day.